Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Ryan and today I'm going to talk about silver, the possible trade of a lifetime. I'm going to be focusing on the silver GBP chart because it's been offering some great levels, some key resistance. It doesn't take a trained eye to see that this level was resistance for many, many years, eight or nine years, a breakout and what seems to be a back test. So we'll discuss silver, the chart, targets for the upside some possible narratives coming up for what could be behind silver moving up during this winter and yeah i'll share the um, gold to silver ratio chart that i've seen posted by uh, a really great name in the crypto community i'll link in below the market sniper the crypto sniper really good calls throughout these last couple of years um a really good chart that he's got that i'll share with you guys on the um, gold to silver ratio that could suggest a possible free digit silver so let's get into it moving over to the silver usd chart you can see we came back down to this demand zone and this demand zone has been it's been a key level on the usd chart for quite a while and that coinciding with the silver great british pound it um it really adds some confluence to what we're seeing here because you've seen that demand zone come into play for the um, usd and this this resistant 10 support on the um, great british pound it's quite remarkable actually how these things happen at the same time with different currencies and you know the united states dollar getting stronger and the great british pound getting weaker these things happening at the same time add a bit of confluence to what we're seeing so it really is actually making me quite bullish on silver i want to take a look back now at some tweets that i put back in february um, at the start of this year just to show i'm not always a bull and why up here for for silver i was actually expecting a move down to start accumulating so i'll show you that right now so taking it back to february 24th at the start of this year um just to show i was actually looking for the move down we didn't actually come as far down as i expected or we haven't yet to 16 dollars but i think we got to around 17 dollars so a great range to start accumulating in the demand zone so yeah this is just really to show i'm not always a bull I can be a bear at some points on silver and that was the time I think to be a bear up at $24 got the move down to 17 where I began accumulating at 18 17 and um, we've recently come back out of there to around the $20 region so I'm not going to be accumulating anymore I'm pretty happy with my position at the minute if we do drop lower again I will start accumulating again no problem but with the recent currency turmoil especially with the great British pound where I'm from it's really benefited me having some silver and um, holding a diversified portfolio um, not all in crypto having some in the cash have, having some cash in the bank as well to be able to benefit from these types of move down and then when the moves up finally happen not being late to the trade so let's let's discuss some narratives now as to what could happen with silver moving into this winter and how why i think the narratives may come into play so moving over to the news and narratives what i'm seeing today on the telegraph this is three hours ago in the united kingdom that there may even be a risk of three hour daily blackouts in the winter um, and that's coming from the national grid and i'll i'll start by saying i don't watch or listen to the news to get the news the reason I keep an eye on it is to watch for the upcoming narratives and see what the tr what information they're trying to feed us in anticipation of what is to come. So I'm thinking if these three hour daily blackouts this winter actually do come into play, there will be a lot longer than three hour daily blackouts. I think we'll be in it for a week or two and that would be a week's on end to be fair. And I think with people not being able to get money out of the bank, people may resort back to the um, the mind frame that we used to be in before being able to get cash out of the bank where people run to precious metals and people run to gold and silver. So in that scenario, with us already being in the trade and accumulating silver down at the levels that I was showing, being ready for this move in the winter if people can't get money out of the banks, if the blackouts come and the banks go down and the online banking isn't available, I think that would be a narrative that would that would force silver and gold to the upside. Obviously, we've already seen it in the chart what we're expecting, and I'm a big believer in that the chart will show the news before the news comes out. So these are the narratives that I'm seeing as to why silver may be doing well this this year um, and going into next, and possibly on a macro outlook over the next ten years anyway, because I'm seeing some similarities with silver and gold. Um, just before gold had its big breakout to the upside and broke its all-time highs silver's doing a similar thing now i just think it's a cycle behind so I'll, I'll compare the silver and gold ratio with the 
the chart from the market sniper i'll compare silver and gold um previously as to when gold broke its all-time high and silver right now so yeah let's get back into the charts that was just a little bit on what i think the narrative is going to be this winter how i think we as people can benefit from it and um why i am accumulating silver or was accumulating silver down at the lows so here is the um, gold to silver ratio chart that I was talking about earlier, credit of the market sniper, or some people might know him as the crypto sniper here. And it's looking as if silver is looking to outperform gold very soon, or it might even have started. Um, and now that doesn't mean silver has to go up straight away. It could mean that if gold drops, silver drops less, but it's really looking like on the gold to silver ratio. That silver is the one to be in for the future of the next couple of years, especially with the narratives that I talked about earlier coming up. This might be the trade of a lifetime. And there's a suggestion here that we could actually see a three digit gold and um, three digit silver, sorry, on um, in the next couple of years in USD value, which would probably be about the same in Great British Pound as the Great British Pound is so devalued. Now, I'm not particularly happy about it because I live in England, but, you know, having a having a diversified portfolio, some silver in there, some precious metals, some of the right cryptos can really help um, preserve or even gain wealth during these times, these, these times of crisis. So yeah, really a great chat from the market sniper. I haven't seen anything like this from anyone else. So I just had to share that here. Going over here back to the charts because this is an important part of the video I think it really shows some confluence to what I'm seeing as to what gold USD did before it's moved to the upside and then a breakout to all time highs so if you have a look on silver GBP here we've we've moved up we've come back down to test this level of support and it looks to be a nice level of support at the minute we'll see how that works out in the future but you can see um, if you take the monthly candle closes here we're actually slowly forming a bit of a bullish wedge with a nice little fake out there to take out some liquidity and a target to the upside for that level would be at around 28 pound and that takes us right back sorry about that advert that takes us right back to this monthly close level for the great british pound now if we go over and have a look at gold usd let me just get rid of that have a look at gold usd what we did i was zooming here try and get it on a better scale so you can see this look at where gold came to when it had its big move back to the upside it's right at these monthly close levels and i think we might just be around here for where, where we are at silver right now and if silver's looking to outperform gold i would expect silver to actually come up as we have a little bit back into the range that was in before which we have even though this is a bigger time frame i'm seeing some confluence here that could suggest the next big move up for silver would be back to these levels and if we go back to the silver gbp chart that would be 28 pound on the silver gbp chart and that would actually be nearly a 100 percent gain from these lows down here and that could be the beginning of the silver narrative or the precious net precious metals narrative coming into this winter so i really don't want to be late to this trade i'm glad i've started accumulating down at these lows showed that we was actually looking for the move down um so it's not that we're just always bullish on silver we was looking for the move down we got it it's confluence level on loads of on different currencies united states dollar um back test into the demand zone great british pound back test into this region of resistance now looking to be turned support targets for the upside on the great british pound silver would actually be confluencing to the move that we got on gold moving to the upside and then after that on gold you saw that we broke to the upside again so really i think this is the move next for silver i think it's the trade of a lifetime for people i think the next the next coming narrative in the winter also adds to it so again it's not financial advice a bit of a different video today focusing on silver but i had to get this one out it's just my thoughts on silver didn't want to leave this one out into the future um as you can see it's it's a great trade if it works out if not we could be wrong it might go down might go to zero who knows might lose out on 
on the trade but that's why it's not financial advice and that's why i am not a financial advisor but again i hope this analysis has been useful if you could drop me a like give me a subscribe it really helps for my youtube channel but i'll see you next time on 